Does Australia even have its own Christmas culture? Listen, hear me out. I've been living here for over a decade and I still don't get Christmas in Australia. And specifically, I don't get Australian Christmas desserts. Like honestly, what is with the fruit obsession? Does anyone know what fruit is in these? <laughs> That's what it tastes like, I think. Are there even any fruits in this? I don't like it. I don't, I don't like this. Does coffee cleanse the palate? Of course this video is all in good fun, but I had an Australian friend describe it to me as a mix of watered down English traditions. And I had a giggle because I think it's kind of true. As an American, I feel like baked goods are a huge hit during the holidays. I always think of chocolate chip cookies and sugar cookies, and of course the famous gingerbread cookies, which are definitely popular here too. I'm not really a fan, but they're still cute. So I read this list of 38 classic Australian desserts, and you have to let me know if you're Australian. Are these even a thing, or have I just been living under a rock the past decade? Because some of these, a lot of them I've never even heard of or seen anywhere. So, I don't know, is this just like homemade desserts? Cause I don't see them in the stores anywhere. I don't know, have I been oblivious? Let me know. So this is off of delicious.com.au, 38 classic Aussie Christmas desserts to plan for now. The first paragraph of this says, frankly, we'd consider having a Vegemite sandwich for Christmas as long as we knew there was a pavlova, trifle, or pudding waiting for us for dessert. Now we all know, no. Now that's a lie, now that's a straight up lie. If anyone agrees with this statement, please let me know because I am struggling to believe it. Some classic through and through, others with a slight twist, but still Aussie Christmas in every way. Now that is like a big claim, I'm feeling. Like that's a big claim. Coffee and wattle seed chocolate lamington cake recipe. What? I know chocolate lamingtons are really popular here, but I've never seen this chocolate coffee and wattle seed chocolate lamington recipe. Okay, that's great, but like, who invented this? Has anyone had this? Is this real or are you just making this up for an article? Passion fruit mango pavlova ice cream cake. I, I honestly would believe that that would be a big hit here because they love passion fruit here. I've seen it everywhere. Turkish delight pavlova with raspberry sherbet. Pavlova with passion fruit and caramelized honey mousse. These are all just pavlovas. Kwandong? What's kwandong? Kwan? Am I saying that right? Are they just like adding Australian like ingredients in here to be like, it's it's a classic Australian thing. Like, what? <laughs> Cherry and coconut pavlova. This whole list is pavlovas. Is this 38 pavlovas to try this Christmas? That's what this article really should be named. Chocolate caramel pavlova cloud. What is happening? Chocolate trifle. Now this one looks like I would definitely eat this. Have you tried any of these on this list? Are these actual classic Australian desserts? Or is this article a lie and they're just making it up? Because I, I've never heard of this before, okay? The pavlova ice cream cake with salted caramel looks delicious. So I also did a poll on my Instagram this week and it actually broke the internet. My DMs were flooded with replies on Christmas pudding and I was laughing so hard at some of these replies. Someone said, I eat it, but I don't know if I like it. Another Aussie said, Christmas pudding to me is disgusting. Pavlova for the win. Old people eat it. My mother-in-law is 73 and she's always making Christmas pudding shit. <laughs> Fruit mince pies are just as bad. <laughs> I was supposed to do this video a day ago, but I didn't have custard for the Christmas pudding, and everyone's like, you can't do Christmas pudding without a custard. Talking on my stories about it, and someone said, you don't even need custard. Just throw that shit out, it's gross. You'll see for yourself. Oh, you can see how excited this is getting me for this. I'm so excited. Read the pudding, homemade all the way. Pack it, not great, hence why it's nicer to eat. One of my friends from the UK said, honestly, it's a UK thing too, and I will never understand vomit emoji. I'm not a fan of Christmas pudding, but Matt loves it. Just give me a pav and I'm happy. Christmas pudding is delicious. A bit of ice cream with the custard as well. Ooh. I had someone send me a voice note right away, just saying how nostalgic it was. And this was so interesting. She was telling me how her grandmother used to make it for Christmas and they used to bake 
nickels in there, coins. They used to bake coins in there um, and she would exchange it for $2 coins for them. And then they eventually stopped doing that because I think she said the government said that's not good for you to bake nickel into your Christmas pudding. So uh, if you're still doing that out there, I don't know to each his own. But I can understand it being like a traditional kind of like nostalgic kind of thing. But also I don't understand that because it's like, if it's not enjoyable, I can get the nostalgic part, but if you don't like the taste of it or if it doesn't taste good, like no amount of nostalgia can make something taste good to me that tastes bad. 21% of people said heck yes to Christmas pudding. 52% said not for me, 7% said it depends, and 21% said what the F is this? <laughs> okay, so let me know where you fall on this Christmas pudding poll, but let's get into the real reason why you clicked on this video. Let's eat some sh**. I, I, I don't, I didn't mean to swear, but let's just roll with it. <gasps> I, um, I, there's a reason why I put this off twice so far. What should we start with? I didn't even eat lunch because I was like, maybe it will make it taste better if I don't eat before I do this because I'm like extra hungry. All right, let's start with the fruit mince pie. Listen, I love apple pie, so, but like what, what fruit is in it? It just says fruit mince. Is it just a bunch of fruit? Is it like a yucky fruit? I don't like all fruits. Like if it's like raspberry or something, I don't know, but. It smells nice. I just wish it was apple. I love apple pie. It honestly doesn't smell that bad. Please be apple, please be apple. Does anyone know what fruit is in these? I'll look at the ingredients after. All right. Ooh, okay, I can do it, I can do it, okay. The crust is not bad. I'm avoiding eating the filling. It looks so gross. But it smells okay. All right, just do it. Oh, I'm... there was a chunk of something that I bit into, which is fine. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's honestly not that bad. It kind of tastes like it should be an apple pie, but it's not, and it has like a lot of like. Christmassy spice flavors like nutmeg and cinnamon, which isn't that bad. It's like they've like mixed an apple pie with like raisins and Christmas spices like cinnamon and nutmeg. There's chunks of like raisins or sultanas in them that I'm not really a fan of. And mushed up raisins with Christmas spices. That's what it tastes like, I think. Yep, that's it. It's like raisin pie. I'm still eating the crust. Like I said, I'm hungry. I could do a couple of bites. It's not horrible. It was between eating one of those or eating chocolate chip cookie. I know which one I'm gonna pick, okay? Oh man, that one wasn't that bad and I, I, I really think these two are gonna be bad. So I'm not looking forward to this. And it's an iced fruit cake. Again, is this just gonna be raisins? It's like everything raisins? Rich vine and glace. I don't know that word. Flute. Vine and glassy flute. Glace? Glace. <laughs> it has a little accent over the E. Glace. Vine and glass. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Fruits with a decadent Christmas icing. What's a Christmas icing? It's just icing. Wait, let me see if it says what fruits in this. Are there even any fruits in this? There's citrus peel, lemon, orange, and lime. Fruit mint filling, what does that mean? There are sultanas in it. Apple. Ah, I was right with apple. Okay, okay. Someone's got taste buds, okay. Oh, it already has like this orange thing, whatever that is, I don't think I'm gonna like that. But I feel like it's gonna taste like that mint. Ugh. Sorry, I'm trying not to be. I'm trying not to be over dramatic for this. Ugh. 
It's sad because I look at this and I just want it to be chocolate. Ugh, it's so potent. It so strongly smells like the Christmas spices, but like, you know nutmeg is like such an overpowering spice, and I just feel like they go too hard with it here. I don't like it, I know I don't like it. I know I don't like this. This is just too much, and the thing is like, I like raisin bread. This is, it's the weirdest thing, I love raisin bread. Like I'm not even gonna say I like, I love. I love raisin bread, but this, I don't think I like it. All right, oh God. Like it's dense, you know what it feels like? It feels like banana bread density, but it's filled with like raisins or sultanas. Are they the same things, raisin and sultanas? I don't know, but. Oh, I don't wanna do it. <laughs> Why did I pick this video? Okay, okay, we can do it, we can do it. It smells so strongly like, like pruned, like old people. That's too big of a bite, don't do that. Wait, I have to get some of the icing. Ah, I hate icing. I love like a buttercream icing. Oh my God, this is so hard for me to do. I don't like trying new foods. I don't like trying new foods. <laughs> this is not easy. Okay, just do it, just do it, just do it. All right, one, two, three. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's like with every bite I get a different taste and it hits different. All right, all right, stop. Okay, ah. more coffee, more coffee. Does coffee cleanse the palate? Sorry, sorry. All right, that was interesting. The icing is a very sugary icing and then this, it tastes like it could be like a yummy banana bread but it tastes like they made something like a banana bread and then they just shoved a ton, a ton of raisins, but it also tastes like they put some of this filling in there as well. And then I don't know what these little pieces are. I don't know. Orange stuff. Again, citrus peels. Oh, there's currants in it. They love black currant here. I feel like this is like a mince pie with icing in banana bread. It's just weird combos for me. It's just, we're doing it though. Now it's like when I walk by these in the store, I'm not gonna be like, oh, what's that? Like, I'm gonna know. I'm, I'm immersing myself in the Aussie culture. Didn't say enjoying, <laughs> said immersing. Okay. Sorry. I'm leaving this one for last because this one says chocolate sponge pudding. And I only got this one because I thought I was going to hate everything else. So I was like, at least we'll end with some actual chocolate and no fruit. The one that I've been dreading this whole time. Christmas traditional pudding with rich fruit and a dash of brandy. So I was reading more into the history behind Christmas pudding and apparently it was like a winter dessert in Britain and they would just make use of all the, the dried fruits. In the winter there was a lack of variety in what foods were available. They had to make do with what they had. And so they would like take all the dried fruits and boil it down to a pudding and that is what it, it was just like a common winter dessert. And in Australia, it's like a traditional Christmas thing. And it just, for me, I'm like, it's like a wintry kind of meal. And so again, I'm like, does Australia even have their own Christmas culture? Today I saw a hot chocolate stocking stuffer in Australia. Like we're in the middle of summer. You couldn't think of like a, an iced chocolate version of that like it just doesn't make sense for the climate and I'm just like make it make sense like, that's what I just don't get about it because they're just like copy and pasting and it's like let's make our own let's let's like not do that I also saw like ugly Christmas jumpers like it's summer again like why can't we start like ugly Christmas t-shirts like why can't we just make it our own here, you know? Why do we have to, it just doesn't make sense. A lot of things just don't make sense to me. Why are we doing Christmas jumpers and hot chocolate in 30 degrees? That ain't a vibe. Anyway, I'm procrastinating so I don't have to eat this Christmas pudding, but let's, let's get into it. But we need our custard. I'm gonna be honest with you, I have never used this before. Like, I don't know what I need to do. Like, do I just pour it? 
Do I have to? Someone said I have to do it heated, but honestly, I feel like it would be nice cold. Like, is that wrong? Here goes nothing. Honestly, I don't even know if I like custard. I have to. I think I like custard. That's what's in donuts, right? Like custard filling. Like, what's in a Boston cream donut? Isn't that custard? Like, that I know I like. If that's what this is, then... But that's like... It's like creamy. This is like a liquid, isn't it? I don't think I need to do anything to this. Maybe heat it up, but... I don't know. Do I have to heat this up? What do I do? Remove cardboard sleeve and foil. Ensure all foil is removed. Heat pudding for the recommended time. What's the recommended time? Oh, 45 seconds. Okay. Oh, it's, they all smell the same. Why do they all smell the same? This smells like that and that smells like that. And that tastes like that mixed with this. Well, I haven't tried this yet, but they did, there's no variety. It's just all the same flavors. I don't understand it. This smells worse than all of them. Listen, I know that I'm getting just this like $3 one from the store in this little microwave package and it's probably not the best quality one. But like I said, we're on a budget. It's 2023 in this economy. I saw a Christmas pudding that was literally $40 and I saw another one for like $60 or $80. Like who out there is spending that much money? Cause someone recommended that they will only eat raised Christmas pudding. So I was like, I gotta do it right. I gotta do it right. I gotta get the good stuff. Then I went and I saw that Ray is charging some extraordinary prices. And I was like, Ray, it's 2023. My wallets can't be spending this much money on Christmas pudding. And I don't know who can out there, honestly. <laughs> doesn't smell any better heat it up and poured it on top so should I put it I should pull, take it out so it looks like the picture like upside down oh ah no oh, I did it this is so much thicker than I thought it was gonna be oh my god I think I made it look cute this side at least from what I gathered in my polls and my DMs from all of you guys, it's that you need a lot of custard. So uh, we're gonna double down on this, okay? We're gonna double down. How much custard is too much? Apparently it's the only way to enjoy this stuff. All right, stop. We're manifesting good vibes. As I look around and I have piles of destruction. Oh, it's way softer than I thought it was going to be. Oh, look at that. Way softer, it just broke apart like nothing. It's so chewy. Why do they all taste the same? Lots of custard on there. Lots of custard. I have no words. It's the aftertaste. It's the aftertaste. They all have this underlying similar flavor, and then they all have chunks of sultanas in them. All of, it's like. What the hell? Like, sultanas are the official fruit of Christmas in Australia. I can't do it. I'm trying not to spit it out. I don't want to be rude, okay? Wow. <laughs> now I understand why they only make such a small, like, amount. A little goes a long way with this. It's so rich. Hey, Doug! I'm gonna get my boyfriend's reaction. See how he likes it. He probably doesn't like it. He always likes things that I don't like. What's up? It's time for you to try. By the way, it's crap. It's bad. You don't know that. It's look at it though. You haven't tried any of it. How can it be good? Look, I did it like the photo. Yeah. Okay, try it. 
You have, apparently you have to eat a lot of custard with it. Like, so why you just ate a tub of custard? I know, that? that's what I thought. All right, you gotta tell them how you like it. <laughs> it, it, it's so bad. <laughs> So bad. It's like it's old people food. Yeah, it is old people. It's like wet mud dirt cake. Like someone's just got dirt and covered it. It does not taste like dirt. It, like, it tastes like dirt. Raisins and saltados. It's got like no sugar in it, so there's no like punch of flavor, and it's just drowned in custard. And because it's like all crumbly, it's like this grainy, sugarless, dry okay, food. You ate something totally. It's not great. It's moist. Yeah, but it feels grainy. Does that say how it pulls apart in your mouth? Yeah, but those are sultana chunks. Okay, yeah, okay. now try this. This is an iced fruit cake. Oh, you took a big bite. Ooh. Okay. It's not without. And it, they all taste the same. It's not that without the coffee. I know. And they all taste this. Because I had to suffer, now you have to suffer with it's it. It's just dry dirt. My bullshit is your bullshit. <laughs> the day that we sign up and say that we best friends, that means that my bullshit is your bullshit. <laughs> it's just dried dates and sultanas. You ate the whole thing. I'm, I'm taking over a small bite of I'm it. hungry. It's the same thing. I know. They all taste the same. Yes. What is the obsession with fruit? They're all the same flavor. It's poor British food from World War One. <laughs> That's why it all tastes like dried tin can food. It's horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry that the Anzacs had to suffer through the war. <laughs> This is why we got freedom, so we can afford good food. Throw it away. <laughs> no, and now we're gonna end with this chocolate sponge pudding. Oh. And I'm gonna have it with custard as well. So, we'll see. Honestly, my stomach feels a little off. That's so heavy. I can understand why that would be like, you don't have that until you're ready to be done eating and go take a nap because I don't know if it's a mix of all of these things, but like, it's just not for me, okay? It's not for me. Oh, now we're talking chocolate. Now we're talking. I'm gonna just put it on this plate because I don't feel like dirtying another plate, even though they're all going in the dishwasher, but. Ugh. Oh, oh, shoot. This has like melted chocolate. Okay, this one looks good. This is the first thing I've been excited about in this. It's all gooey chocolate on it. Okay. All right. Gooey chocolate. Hot, but it is chocolatey. I feel like it tastes better than it actually is after eating all this. Honestly, if someone served me that, I wouldn't be mad about it. It's just a really basic, it does, it, I don't know what's the difference between pudding and a cake because I guess it's more dense because pudding in the US is not this. It's like creamy. It's like a mousse. There's almost too much chocolate on that. It's so rich. They've really drowned it at the top in chocolate. Honestly, the, I feel like all of these, the flavors are just way too overpowering for me. I need a chocolate chip cookie, okay? I just need a chocolate chip cookie. I just want a chocolate chip cookie. We did it. We survived, okay? We made it through. We'll never be the same again, okay? All the different aftertastes going through my body right now, I don't love it. I honestly feel like I need to brush my teeth before we go out to dinner. Let me know in the comments, are you a fan of Christmas pudding? Is there a dessert that's just super nostalgic for you that it doesn't feel like Christmas unless you have this specific dessert? For me, it's definitely chocolate chip cookies. Like, that that's the first dessert I think of when I think of Christmas. And I guess like the, the winter holiday season, my mom always made this chocolate pudding pie with a graham cracker crust and whipped cream. And we would all fight over it. And as we got older, she had to start making more and more because they would just go so quickly. That and chocolate chip cookies are definitely two of the things that are so nostalgic for me when, it, when I think of Christmas. But I would love to hear what's the dessert for you. What is the dessert for you that just equals Christmas? Let me know in the comments. With that, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. And I hope to see you tuning in to another video soon. And I hope you have a great Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Bye! 
Oh, almost knocked everything over. This tastes so bad. My mouth tastes so bad. It tastes off. It tastes rotten. 